The Samsung Galaxy Beam. This phone was way ahead of its time. Initially being released in February 2012, this phone had a feature that made it extremely unique and futuristic. It had a projector. A built-in projector. You may think that this is the first phone to have a projector, but you would be wrong. The first phone with a projector was actually the Logic Bolt. This was initially released in January 2009. However, the Samsung Beam ran Android and was much more popular. That popularity quickly declined as people lost interest. Users complained that the projector nor the phone were that good. Most of those complaints though can be fixed today with modern day technology. Because Samsung has ditched the projector phone market, they left a bit of a void which a few other companies have decided to fill. Blackview released their Max 1 projector phone which has also since been discontinued. Although the Blackview Max 1 projector seems to be the best projector phone on the market, it just didn't do that well. It seems as though there is not enough of a market for projector phones. I can't say I don't understand why, but I'm sad to see them go. In this video, we're going to open up the Samsung Galaxy Beam, see how it works, and try and understand why this masterpiece of a phone reached extinction. We have a Samsung Galaxy Beam. So because this phone is 10 years old and things used to be simple back then, you can just remove the back. And you can also remove the battery. There are no real teardowns online or any instructions on how to do this, so I'm kind of going in blind. But there seems to be five Phillips screws on the back. We'll hit this phone with a unscrew. Now we can probably pop off the back, assuming there's no hidden screws under these pieces of tape. That is not tape, that's an antenna. The back frame seems to just pop off, but we need to make sure that these two antennas are not in the way. And now we can reveal the Samsung Galaxy Beam. What is this? Not the prettiest interior, but for a phone that's 10 years old, I'll cut it some slack. So the top of the phone is just all projector. The main board takes up almost the entire length and width of the phone. The volume controls as well as the power button are soldered to the bottom of the board. Meaning if I were to lift up the board, I would damage those controls. That means we're stuck with this view of the board because I want this phone to stay working. The projector is held in by three screws and is a modular component. Meaning, if it's damaged, you can replace it pretty easily. It quite literally looks like a mini projector. The reason this phone ended up failing was because it wasn't really a good projector or a good phone. Comparing it to the iPhone 5 or the S3, this phone just couldn't keep up. Fast forward to today, however, if they were to recreate this phone, I think it would do really well. At the very least, however, I would love to see a projector add-on to Samsung's or any of the newer iPhones. I would definitely use this almost every day if that did exist. It does actually exist. Motorola created a case for $80 that actually lets you turn your phone into a projector, freeing up that extra space while still allowing you to have that as an option. If Apple or Samsung did release a projector case, would you guys get it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.